Hello, Lori Michelle, the Mashiach, with lesson number five, why God created the mother. The simple answer is God created the mother to bring human beings into this world, procreation. That's the purpose of the mother. Is that the singular purpose of the female? No, he said, hardly. But the purpose of the mother is to give birth to human children, babies, procreation. And so why am I talking about this today? Because Hashem said this conversation is timely and very serious and goes right to the heart of why our world is imploding and we are on the brink of human destruction, truly. It's not overstated at all. If you are watching this video and you watch me online and you've read my book, you know I'm telling the truth. Blindsided by Messiah, you can see it. I have my virtual background back again because I was getting bored. The Sea of Galilee, the Canaret behind me. I can't overstate how much trouble we're in. And he says at the heart of the matter, is procreation and how we are breaking his model, we're breaking his laws, and the mother is central to all the world. The mother, in the words of God himself, is held above the king of the universe. He holds the mother in the highest esteem. The mother, I'm a mother, maybe you're a mother too, is put on this earth to bring forward children. The holiest thing that you can do with your vessel is to bring forward children, but it's not the only thing you can do with your entire life. There are people who cannot bear children for whatever reason, and they seek the assistance of technology and science to help them procreate. And there, begins the slippery slope. There are many, but it's one of the slipperiest slopes that has led us to pure blasphemy and horrors all around the world. What are they? You've broken the model. People around the world have broken the model and allowed it to come into being. And Hashem says, you want, you desire, and this is what you get. So what do we have right now? We have men marrying men, going to a doctor, and having embryos created through in vitro fertilization and hiring a woman to bring them children. Complete blasphemy, breaking his model, and he just said the word heresy. So you may not like me, you may not like what I'm saying, but he says you need to know this information because it's at the heart and soul of what is wrong with our entire world. You break his model, you break the world. Look around us, we have nothing but problems everywhere. Look around the world and if you don't see them, I'll help you see them in my book. There are 12 rounds of boxing with Mommy Messiah where I walk you through my life and life stories about how people break his laws every day. And even the rabbis right now are making wrong-headed decisions because they don't really know what he wants. So he sent me the unthinkable Mashiach. And you don't have to believe I'm that. Don't give me a title. Just call me Lori and listen to what I have to say. On this subject, he said to go online and look what the halacha is about IVF, in vitro fertilization. So I did. I went to one of my favorite websites, Chabad.org, and there were three different opinions, and only one of them is correct. The first opinion was, IVF may be permitted, but all physical components, sperm, eggs, serums, uterus, related medications, must be only of the halachically married couple themselves. That eliminates a few sins, 
but it doesn't eliminate them all. The second decision or the second opinion from a different rabbi is, bear with me, IVF may be permitted even through physical components used from non-Jewish sources. So we're further opening Pandora's box. But what's the decision or the halakhic opinion that Hashem says is the correct one? It's the one that you don't want to hear. It's number three. IVF may not be permitted since it violates Torah prohibitions, in particular, the prohibition against wasting of a man's seed. And this opinion, this is the halakhic opinion of Rabbi Yehuda Kalman Marlow of blessed memory, senior, memory sen senior member of the rabbinical court of Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York. Don't shoot the messenger. I, I have total compassion for a couple who can't bear children and seek help to get pregnant. I'm a mom and I know the greatest thing I did with my life thus far is having children. He says that I'm going to help you bring forward world redemption and peace on earth. And all of that is for my kids. They're my reason why. He wants us to bear children. I had three. I'm very blessed to have three children and I now have a grandson. And it's a supreme blessing. But it's not my only purpose in this world. And if you're a woman, that's not your only purpose is to be a mother. But he put mothers on this planet to bring forward children. We could have popped up out of a garden like a head of cabbage, according to the king of the universe. And I know that that's true, because if you believe in prophecy, Torah prophecy, the Bible, then you believe in something called the resurrection of the dead. And when that happens one day, we're not going to be born again as babies and come through the mother. People who have died are literally going to walk into this world in flesh and blood, fully clothed. From where? From Shemayim, from heaven, from wherever they are right now when I hear them. Many people do hear them. They exist in another realm. So we don't have to be born through the mother. It's God's design. It's God's design that he created the mother to bring forward children into this physical world. And the mother marries a father. Procreation, the model for creation, is a mother and a father who must be married in holy matrimony first. He said yes. You don't like it, you don't like it, but it's the truth. And you break his model and you break the world. And our world is on the brink of destruction. I hope you listen to me further. I hope you share this video because this is the truth and we need the truth. Right now, they're working on something called the artificial womb. I'm going to share my screen for a moment and show you what I found today. It's, it's horrible. Look at this article. Look where we're heading, people. We may one day grow babies outside the womb, but there are many things to consider first. No kidding. Let's see where this is going to lead us. The artificial womb is, can be something good. Here's a premature baby, and they have something called an artificial womb, and it's called ectogenesis, exogenesis. And so they put premature infants who are born too early in these units and they bring them to full term and save the life of the newborn, the early born baby, the premature infant. And he says, and that is good. But they're taking this technology to the next level what would an artificial womb contain? Acrylic tanks, 
plastic bags, uterine tissues removed from an organism, and artificially kept alive. What kind of organism? A pig? Where are we heading, people? Well, let's go further. Artificial wounds could help with infertility and fertility. Well, that's music to a lot of people's ears. Specifically, married gay couples, artificial wounds would allow gay men to become parents without needing a surrogate. We don't need women anymore. What do we need women for? Joe can marry Joe and procreate. Artificial wounds may harm women, reinforce inequality, and lead to discrimination. No kidding. Where are we heading with all this? IVF led to this. What is this? Creating humans in a Petri dish, growing them in an artificial womb, and handing them over to a gay couple or any couple to raise children. What's next? What's next, people? They already have a, an orangutan in Florida, Sandra, the orangutan, who received personhood from a judge legal personhood. So the next thing is, I want to be happy, pursuit of happiness. I'm going to marry my pet German Shepherd. And then I'm going to procreate and go to the lab and have a baby. And Rover and I are going to bring forward children into this world. Ridiculous? Insane? I'm not the one who's insane. You need to look in the mirror. We're heading to hell. We're in hell. This is hell. Are you really happy? Come on. <laughs> Tell me you're not happy. You can smile. We can laugh. We can joke. But we've got to clean up this mess, people. This is disgusting. This is truly disgusting. Hashem gave a commandment not to spill the seed. And he knew, he knew what would happen further down the road, IVF, Petri dish. Now, artificial womb. We don't need women. And what does Hashem think of women? He wants the women to wake up, take the lead, and rule Olam. Women will rule the world in the world to come. He just said the words of Hashem. Men have had their day, and I'm telling you the truth. I love men. I love the king of the universe. But you've messed up this world. Look what we're doing. It's a mess. It's disgusting. And the people who sin the most have the loudest, biggest mouths around the world right now. If you believe in him and you find any credibility in anything I just said, I hope you do. Buy the book, tell people I'm here, learn what's wrong. Torah part two, 12 boxing rounds with mommy Messiah. I don't need to be the Mashiach. Guess who needs to be the Mashiach? You need to be the Mashiach and your neighbors and all of us. We need to come together and wake up and see the mess and disaster that we're creating right now. This is a disaster. They're gonna eliminate the mom holy smokes he just said no they're not you need to wake up god's real he's watching us all and this is a disgrace i feel for people who can't have children but the female her only value is to have kids no but he created the mother to bring four children into this world and if you can't have children Look what the Rebbe Menachem Mendel Schneerson did in this world. He didn't have children, and he brought forward the path and the road to redemption through the Chabad network. He prepared the world for Mashiach. I write about him in my book. Why don't you want to buy it? Come on, wake up. I love you. Please wake up. Don't break his model.
and telling you the truth. He's not happy. Let's make him happy. God bless you.